It's recording. Okay. So I'm trying to document everything that's been happening to me. I'm trying to sleep. I can't sleep. So the village, they give me this thing, and I think it's drumming. All I hear is just drums, drums. When I sleep, I hear drums. So I've been doing a lot of research on the drums. The gin is what is responsible for this nightmare. I need to sleep. I can't sleep. So these drums, they're drumming. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. Catalan folklore, it's a rat that comes and eats your soul. It, it eats your soul, it eats everything. Yo man, uh, what is this? What is what? Yo, no, you're gonna screw up my documentary. What I'm are you doing, document. man? What is happening what to me? What is this? What is this? What is, what is this? No, man? don't, don't. Can't Who you guys hear the drums? They're like drumming. really? Man. He's black, he's drumming. No, 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 the drum. Some, some, How no, no, no. are you, man? It's, it's a drum. Um, what's this now? What's wrong? Yeah, know. what's oh, wrong? Yeah, like this. Yes. It's just a statue now, what's wrong? Yeah, no, you man. have birds and stuff. Look at this, man. What? Damn. Uh, I need to sleep, yeah, guys. Yeah, look at actually. Oh, like... something? What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I like your camera, though. What? Like, oh, give it. It's like, it's yo, let's see. Like, can you see what he's... Look at look at what he's looking at, man. In fact, you know what? I need to... I need to see this better. Abdul was a little disturbed about Ahmed and searched about nightmares all night. As he fell asleep, Abdul got an airy feeling as if something bad was going to happen, which he quickly dismissed. The moment Abdul fell asleep, he couldn't breathe. It was as if something had sat on his chest and stopped his lungs from working. He couldn't move his body. Abdul was stuck in the position he was in. Abdul started hearing voices, scary voices. He saw a black figure approaching him and it sat right next to him in bed. Let's get him, man. Get him, get him, get him. The moment Abdul got control of his body, he sprang right off to the bed to turn on the lights. And the black figure was gone. Abdul quickly called his pastor. Hello, hello, good evening, sir. Sir, I, I saw something. I saw something. I felt a presence in my room. It seemed to be holding me. And then, it was, it was really scary, sir. And then, uh, uh, sir, what do I do? Wait, wait. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You're not making any sense. You think it is eating your room in the room? I'm not thinking. I saw it, sir. It even, it came in. It sat in my bed. In my, in my bed. Okay, calm down. Calm Calm down, calm down, calm down. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Amen. Ah, okay. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cast and rebuke every spirit in you. Amen. I cast ah. and rebuke every spirit in you. Amen. 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 Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven, heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Okay, you can go and spread the water. Spread the water, spread the water around your home. Okay. There will be any problem. We okay. shall be well with you. Amen. Amen. Just calm down. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. You can't stop by this. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Leave this place. Leave this place. Leave this domain. Ah! I rebuke you. Leave. Leave.
Voices got scarier and scarier. The black figure appeared again, and Abdul couldn't move any part of his body. Only through his eyes could he see the black figure approaching him. It felt like death itself. Abdul tried screaming, but he could only speak in vowels. Once Abdul could move his body again, he went under the cover and started praying to Jesus. Guy, where have you been? Oh, hey. Some really weird things have been happening to me lately. Like what? Like, I don't know, scary things. Weird things. So, something happened after you all left that night. Just promise me you won't tell the others. Yeah, so what has been happening to you? I mean, really scary things, weird things have been happening to me in my sleep. It's that thing that watches you, waits for you to fall asleep, follows you around, they move into your bedroom. It's what happens before they start tormenting you. Do you think it's a cause? <laughs> you can feel its presence every time you lay your head to rest. It's watching you, waiting for you to fall asleep. And then someday, it starts whispering bad things to you in your dreams. What did you do for these things to be happening to us? Yo, guy, imagine if that goes for some really hot chick person. Ah, what's up, man? Yo guys, it happened to me again. This one was really scary. Ah, it happened to me two, two nights ago. I had voices. I thought I was dead. I really? I knew I wasn't the only one. I thought I was dead too. What are you guys talking about? Oh, sorry. This is my cousin, Sule. Just came for a visit. Mm. And he knows nothing about it, right? Yeah, I haven't had decent sleep in four days. Come what's what he's talking about. I haven't slept in a week. You can't to go sleep again. <laughs> so this is what happens before you die. Don't say stupid things like that, that. I don't want to die. You. Actually, let me tell you guys what happened. Hmm? I was playing FIFA like I normally do before I go to bed. Sleeping. I was hearing voices, really scary voices. I saw something casting a shadow on the wall. It looked like a hand or a mouth or something. When 
I couldn't move. I couldn't talk. I could only move my eyes. No matter how much I tried to scream, nothing came out. After what felt like eternity, I could move my body again. I turned on the light and BAM! It was gone. I just started praying and praying and praying. I thought that was the end of it. And I came back to sleep. Then it happened again. Some black thing that looked like a cloth was on the bed with me. Right in my face. And the voices got louder and louder. Oh my God, that was scary. I covered myself with a blanket and I was shaking. And it happened again. I felt like I was paralyzed forever. And I started praying till the sun came out. Oh my God, that's scary. But you guys remember I spent the weekend at my uncle's house. It happened there. I thought it doesn't happen when there are people around. Well, carry on, go on. Late that night, I was sleeping. And I could see that the housemaid was trying to talk me. It felt like her, but I couldn't see her face. All I saw were these black hands. I, I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I've never been that scared. Wow, that's also crazy. Good one. Well, seems yours was really more scary than mine. And it seems once you're alone, it's going to happen. My heart was beating so much, I thought I was going to do a heart attack. Speaking of heart attack, uh -huh. I had a similar story. Is it about sleeping paralysis? Yeah, I had it from a friend of mine. Okay, okay, carry on. Tuli's friend was hearing music from the bathroom. And it sounded like it was coming from the water closet. He then opens it to check. And that is how the guy died. Uh, uh -huh. What? That can't be true. And how would you know if he died? <laughs> but it was a good one now. Uh -huh. Good one? What? I think we're just bringing up stories together. <laughs> Don't mind my cousin. The guy is trying to study creative writing in university. <laughs> oh, so he must come up with good stories for TV and film. It sounds like an interesting thing to do. Yeah, just come up with better stories. <laughs> Well, what I do these days, I just stay up late to tire myself. So that it seems like it doesn't happen anymore. Life is just not the same anymore. Everything has changed. Do you even know what sleeping paralysis is? You know? You can't even move your body while you are in bed. I know that feeling. I've heard of a similar story. This man could not sleep for one year because he was afraid to sleep. Guys, stop adding regular stories. There's no way that could happen. Yeah, like we're talking about real stories here. You're bringing up some bullshit stories. You said you are trying to study creative writing and you can't even come up with a better lie. All right, fine. This one genuinely happened. This boy was waiting at the reception for a doctor and suddenly he falls asleep. He falls asleep. No, no, that's not how sleeping paralysis happens. No, at all. <laughs> Why, Suli? Why? <laughs> Let's just go home. Don't you know the way home? Why, guy? Why? What kind of stories? Why? Like, why? I beg you guys, let's take What's wrong? Please, just leave me. You won't understand. Are you alright? Tell me. I had this really weird experience. I was awake, but I just couldn't move. I don't know how... Wait, 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 wait. You were awake, but you could not move. Hey now, what did it happen to you two? 
It's sleeping paralysis. paralysis. You don't know sleeping paralysis. Ah, uh, tell me more. Start from the beginning, Jari. Please, please just leave me alone. I have this headache now. Just, just. Just tell me now. It's sleeping paralysis. Just tell me from the beginning. Please, tell just, me the whole story. Please, please leave me. Halima, just, just tell me now. Just go, I beg. Where are you going? Just leave Halima. Me.